Hi there. Replacing or upgrading a dome tweeter. There can be a lot of good reasons to pick up a, a set of DIY uh, tweeters. You get lots of nice quality for your money compared to many original tweeters for speakers. So, you know, it could be an upgrade. It could be because that you burned off a set where now they're no longer available or they're insanely expensive. So lots of good reasons to get a set of DIY uh, tweeters from like whoever, SP Acoustics, Scanspeak, uh, Morel, whatever. There's a lot of good stuff out there that, that could be an excellent upgrade. But you need to be aware of the technical things in it that, to make sure that you get uh, the result that you are looking for and also that it's not harder than you thought it was going to be. So with that said, the first thing is the physical size. There's no standard for tweeters out there. They are all kinds of sizes. The most typical size is though about 10 centimeters across here, but that's, you cannot count on that at all. So you need to look at the measurement of your original one and then look at the measurements like the, in the data sheet of the new one and really look at it and see if you need to modify your cabinet for it to fit in there. The other thing you need to be aware of is sensitivity. Sensitivity is like efficiency. It's how loud is this tweeter playing giving a certain amount of uh, amplifying effect. So you have two types of measurements out there. You have a one watt, one meter distance, how many decibels is it playing? Typically one for a dome tweeter will be like from 89 up to like 93. And, but it could also be that it's measured by 2.86 volts, um, a very common one and a more precise one, if you ask me. It, it represents it more clearly. So those two, you have to compare that with the old tweeter or assess the old tweeter to what was it. And that can be a little tricky. I mean, you, luck, if, you, if you're lucky, the, um, it, that, that it's made by somebody else, like Vifa or something like that in your original uh, speaker. So there's a model that comes close to it maybe or something like that, or even maybe the perfect, that model exactly, and then see what the original sensitivity is. But because you can't count on it for the entire speaker, because there might be a, um, an L-pad in there, like a, like a little resistor circuit in there. There's already dampening it down from the actual sensitivity it has. So that's something that you want to make sure that you're somewhat matching. I will say that if you pick one, there is plenty big, like say 91, 92, and you can see that the speaker is like 90. Well, when then you know it's gonna, you can, you have a chance of modifying that later um, uh, with, with resistors. But it could be a challenge. So you want to make that, assess it as well as you can uh, to get it as close as you, you can. And one last thing about that is that if you feel like your speaker is a little bit on the forward, forward side and you're looking at it and it has like let's say a metal dome or something like that, well then you could pick something that might have a slight on the small side, sensitivity 89 or 90, and then pick that, and there's a good chance that it's gonna be pulled back a little bit compared to the old one. And again, you could put in some more resistors to dampen it some more. So yeah, it's a little complicated, but um, if you look really look into it, it's not too bad and I, I will post some more videos on theory and please ask ask me here in the comments section down below right all right 
Impedance. Impedance is the resistance through this tweeter. And when we talk about impedance and not resistance, like we, we, we're putting into account that there's a coil in there. So there's something called inductance and that creates an additional resistance. All right. So that's why that if you take a multimeter, a volt, like a, a ohm meter, you know, it will typically be a multimeter, and you measure how many ohms there is from here to here, you measure something that is smaller than the eight ohms or six ohms or four ohms uh, that you're looking for. It will be like maybe for a, let's say, a, a four ohm uh, tweeter, it will be somewhere around. 3.6, maybe all the way down to 3 ohms, this tweet, the tweeter would be. And uh, so that's important also that you're matching that to the old one. And for that, you can use a multimeter, measure the old one, unless you know it, uh, for that particular model. Again, you cannot count on the entire speaker because you have that uh, typically some kind of dampening inside of the crossover already uh, so so the overall Im, um, impedance of the speaker doesn't necessarily tell anything about the original tweeter you have in the speaker all right all right so resonance frequency resonance frequency all right so when you look at the frequency response of a tweeter you will have kind of like a lift at some point of the impedance and that's where it's resonating it's important that the tweeter does not play this frequency that's harmful to the tweeter and it sounds really bad so you need to look at your crossover frequency of your speaker so if it's a second order filter or 12 db per octave filter then you can count on that you can pretty much just times two um, the resonance frequency of the tweeter and then you have what minimum you should be um, cutting the frequencies at. If it's 6 dB, like a first order filter, that means that it's only protected by one capacitor, then it needs to be double that. Uh, so like, uh, then it will be four times the resonance frequency. So try to match the resonance frequency to the old one, that's, that's one thing, or make it smaller, you know. That would be a good thing to do. And um, typically it just means that your sound will be more calm in your tweeter section if you do so. Um, yes, then of course there's the one that a lot of people think it's the most important, but that is way down the list. All of these above is more important than this one. But your load, your watts, like how much can the tweeter take? You need to take that into some account, of course. The other ones are definitely more important, like your impedance and your resonance frequency, you know, and your sensitivity is more important, but still look at it so it's fairly within the realm of, uh, of where the old one was. I will say this, if you need to dampen the tweeter some more, let's say you needed to dampen it three decibels more with the resistors, like so the, where the sensitivity is higher, well then you have to think about that now you can pull twice as much power as you used to on that tweeter. So let's say you had a 50 watt tweeter that now got damped with three decibels with, a de with an L pad. Now that tweeter can take 100 watts as a circuit altogether. So sensitivity is therefore just as important as watts, also in the terms of load. Yes, all right. So the last thing I wanna say is membrane material. Like what is the dome here made out of. So you have some typical characteristics depending on that. Your silk tweeter or textile tweeters is 
by a f- large margin more laid back, more calm, um, more mild. It's it's by a broad margin. It's not always the case, but very, by a very broad margin, where titanium and aluminum tweeter would be more forward, a little bit more sharp, more like more seeming like it has more clarity and then on the very top you have the beryllium tweeters which is the ultimate it's light it's stable really beautiful on all accounts but also very expensive and you can get a diamond coated tweeter ultimately which is extremely pistonic that means that it doesn't break up it's very like like a piston it just moves the air out and back where the you know the textile tweeters the titanium tweeters they have some kind of wobbling in the material um, i hope you can use this for something if you're looking for an upgrade on your tweeters or you want to replace uh, your tweeters to something really nice um, better than what you had before so anyway Uh, write in the comments section if you have any questions or maybe a suggestion for something else I should uh, touch upon. But thank you so much for watching this video about replacing, upgrading your don't tweeters. Take care guys. Bye.